Hello friends, today I will talk about serum triglycerides. So if you look at your lipid profile test, it has various parameters like total cholesterol, LDL cholesterol, HDL cholesterol and one of them is triglycerides also. So we know that high triglyceride is a risk factor for many diseases, mainly heart attacks and strokes. So it is in our best interest to keep the triglycerides lower. And uh, But you know, there are many people we see in our routine uh, practice who have a high triglyceride level. And it can be seen in younger people also and uh, in older people also. So high triglycerides, so that is above 150, is a risk factor for various diseases. So we need to keep it lower. The lower the triglyceride, better it is. So just because I said 150, it doesn't mean that you cannot keep it lower to 100 also. So another thing is what we look at is triglyceride to HDL ratio. So which means to have a higher HDL to cholesterol and lower triglyceride, both are beneficial. So how can we lower the triglycerides level? So I will look at some of the ways in which you can easily lower your triglycerides. So first is uh, look at your diet. In the diet, the carbohydrates. So they are the ones which increase the triglycerides level. So look at your amount of carbohydrates. So whatever has say sugar in it. So like uh, sugary drinks, like soft drinks, packaged fruit juices or ice creams, chocolates, cakes, sweets. Many of these things have sugar. So cut down drastically. Other sources of carbohydrates decrease in quantity like say of course rice and roti you cannot stop but lower the amount. The second is healthy fats. So if you look at fats like say you know seed oils especially which are reheated and used multiple times. So they are not good that can increase the triglycerides level whereas healthy fats like say olive oil or avocado they are uh, good sources and they will not raise your triglyceride. In fact they will help in lowering the triglyceride level. The third is have adequate amount of protein. So, you know, once you have adequate amount of protein, that itself will cause satiety and you won't feel like having excess of carbohydrates. The second main thing that you can do to lower the triglyceride is exercise. Now, exercise should be a combination of both aerobic exercises, which includes brisk walking, running and also strength training. So, lifting weights or resistance training. So, both are equally important and one should not, uh, you know, skip one of them. So, combination of these two exercises will help in lowering the triglycerides. Third is the sleep. So optimum sleep duration of 7 to 9 hours definitely helps in lowering the triglyceride. So both uh, sleeping less and oversleeping that is more than 10 hours or sleeping lesser than 7 hours. So that can increase the risk of having high triglycerides. And fourthly, the two sins or two what we call smoking and alcohol. So both increase the triglycerides level. So if you are smoking, quitting smoking or if you take alcohol, abstaining from alcohol, both can help in lowering the triglycerides level. And uh, if you are overweight or obese, cutting down on the weight will also reduce the levels of triglycerides. Two illnesses you have to look at. One is diabetes, second is thyroid diseases. So if you are a diabetic, maintaining normal glycemic status will lower the triglycerides. If you have hypothyroidism, then maintaining the taking adequate amounts of thyroxine will also help in lowering the triglycerides level.